I suppose there's loads of really good reasons. Uh, the main ones are that you get a big support network of people uh -huh. to get through, uh, help you out, especially when you're learning. I mean, the last thing you want when you're learning is <laughs> being on your own, and that's the nice thing you've got with marketing. Absolutely, and, huge, and the support in and around most yeah. of it, most of the UK is great. Yeah, and I suppose the other things are that the tools are actually relatively simple to to get started in. There's uh -huh. not a really big learning curve once you once you kind of get past the initial. That's right, and there's a lot of free tools out there as well for new yeah. guys. If you're What's not if you're tools? not signed up, you can get going with the with the uh, express versions of uh, Visual Studio. Yeah, yeah. so and the express versions are totally free as well, which is really cool. Absolutely. So you know, if you only need a copy of Windows, and you're off and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found a lot of the a lot of the videos on the ASP.NET site quite useful when I yeah. first started out. Uh, a lot of running examples and packages you could download yeah. and uh, and run with and see how guys had, had built other bits and pieces. I suppose the, the the best bit about it all is that you've got you've got this bit, like I say, this big community of people that help you out, and they don't just give you how-to, they tell you why you should be doing it that way, That's so right. you get the best advice. Wow, in the UK especially, we've uh -huh. got, I think we've got about 60 or 70 Microsoft-focused user groups. Yeah. Uh, loads of free conferences, loads of events going on, uh, loads of chances for developers to talk to each other, interact, That's right. uh, and get real-world advice from people, not just marketing spin from a big corporation. That's right. Uh, and the nice thing is that Microsoft support all this stuff as well, so they, they help the user groups out, they, they provide speakers, they provide material that we need, uh, they, they help us interact with the product groups so we know exactly what the teams are doing mm -hmm. and we can work on uh, getting the best out of the products as well. And I guess another reason to, to start thinking about maybe using somebody like Microsoft is that they've demonstrated since 2000 that they're keeping the technology moving. There's a good, there's a good roadmap as to where they're taking yeah. the bits and pieces and it's, it's really impressed the industry. There's a lot of job openings out there now. Right. We're 10 years into .NET, near enough. Mm -hmm. It's had no real exploits. It's rock solid, stable. It's, it's respected throughout the world. Yeah, it's got, definitely got the respect of its users, hasn't yeah. it? And, and like you say, the industry's following that, so there's jobs, yes. there's positions opening up, there's all sorts of bits and pieces there. Yes, yeah, so I, I really think that .NET is a good future for development. I don't think it's going to stall, yeah. I don't think it's a language that's going to stop.